Okay. Let's get to the bottom of things, babe. Conductor's car. Should really start sort of my evidence before I continue. In my short time working on this train, I haven't visited the conductor car yet. Feels empty. Wait, where's the conductor? That's odd. I haven't seen him throughout the train at all. Last we saw him was when he left the dining car. Something's clearly not. Something's clearly happened here. Not that we can't figure out. Come on, time to investigate. Let's crack on. A microphone. We can talk to the whole train with this. Hmm, should I say something? <laughs> Oblivion, why are you reaching for the mic? <laughs> hey, yo! No way. That's funny. Just uh, offering our guests some musical entertainment. That was impressive, Oblivion. Thank you for sharing. I want to see... <laughs> if you can hear this yarn, if it stinks. Oh, you're reaching for the microphone? Marfits certainly do not. They're clean. Uh, I'm uh, sure they are tails. It was just being silly. Perhaps not the audience for that sort of joke. Yeah, probably not. Wow, the conductor looks so young in his uniform. He's been here a long time. After 32 years, he told me he's finally retiring. He said he's headed to the Spagonia with his wife. I hope they have a great trip. 32 years is a long time. I wish them a lot of happiness. Huh? Many fortune, sorrow be fleeting. Oh, holy shit. Many future, sorrow be fleeting. Damn, Shadow. Uh, yes. I wish that too. Oh, the trash can, baby. You know, I'm alright. I don't need to check the trash bin. You're satisfied with finding a clue here before, huh? I know they say, always take the trash bin, but I'm good. I'll go on a high score. No, no, they're right. You should always take the trash bin. Let's give it a look. You gave in so easily. Will you be okay if there's nothing in there? I found something once. No one can take that away from me. I'll be fine. Hmm. Nothing in there, huh? Oh, no. You look so sad about it. You two have been take talking over the trash can for a while now. Did you find something? Yeah, I want to see. Is it a clue? Maybe just to leave Oblivion alone for a second. Uh, hmm? Did this fall over when the train sped up? Not sure. Wait, what's it say on the mug? A cup of Joe in your head, a wife by your side, paradise. Alright, alright, we get it. He loves his wife. Isn't it odd we haven't seen the conductor since the dining car? I figured he had to drive the train the entire time. I'd guess the same, but the train's quick speed up is odd. We currently don't know where he is. I hope he's all right. Admittedly, I do not miss his laugh. Fahaha. <laughs> this robot arm has been completely torn off. Yuck, how creepy. That arm is powerful. It'd be tough to break out of its grip. A lot of people here have the strength to tear this off, but the question is why? A confrontation definitely occurred in this room. We should log this. Aye aye, sir. Broken robot arm is added to your inventory. Aha! What is that? Let's talk to Amy first. Before we talk to Amy, I think we should keep looking around for clues. Oh, good call. Here we go. Hmm, what's this? Was someone playing darts? That's not a throwing dart. That's a blow dart. Someone brought a weapon onto this train. Huh? Hmm. That shouldn't be possible. Tails is right. The train detects any weapons on a passenger before letting them aboard. Let's make note of this. The blow dart is added to your inventory. I think we found enough clues. Let's talk to Amy and solve this once and for all. I didn't realize these arms, these robot arms, could also drive the train. Yeah, but they can't access every function on the train like the conductor can. Did they teach you how to drive it? Oh, no, just how to work the microwave. I recognize some of these functions. Maybe I could drive the train. Maybe I could drive the train. Let me drive the train. I would completely trust you to drive the train. Same, actually. It's true, you could drive the train flawlessly. Oh, guys. All right, let's talk to him. Well, you two, I think you have enough evidence for me to call everyone here. 
It's high time we named a suspect. What do you think, Oblivion? Ready to solve this case? Yes. Hello, everyone. This is the birthday girl speaking. Please report to the conductor car at once. It's time. We found a clues. Wonderful to have you all here. Tails and I are ready to announce our prime suspect with assistance from Oblivion. Why hasn't Sonic shown up? Uh. They really killed this man. This man is dead. Vector? Real quick, can you come in to get Sonic? He must still be pretending to be dead. Lazy bum. Ready, let's go get him. This man's dead for real. Let me tell you, darlings, this has been a delight. A delight. There and here is so intense. I love it. Nothing like a thrill of a mystery. The train has so many amenities. I feel so catered to. Admittedly, I've been having a lot of fun myself. The amusement of a chase. I see why you're a detective outside of this mystery, Espio. You and I love a good thrill, it seems. But on this train, I am but a humble poet. I'd be willing to do an event like this again. It says here the train does escape rooms as well. I love escape rooms. Count me in. I'm so glad everyone's having a good time. Maybe we could ride a train just to relax some time. Ah, yeah, that'd be fun too. Ah! Mm -hmm. What in the world? That's Amy's voice. Quick, where's Amy? Hmm? He's dead, it's over. He he's not responding to us. Sonic, Sonic. What, is he hurt? Why isn't he moving? Sonic? Sonic, can you hear us? He's banged up. If there's a pulse, it's weak. Set him down, Vector. Make sure his head is propped up. I'll help you. I knew one of you would take this too far. Which one of you did this to Sonic? On my birthday, no less. Could this really have been one of us? There's no one else here, Knuckles. So I ask again, which one of you did this? This is inexcusable. Sonic's hurt. I'm going to expose the monster who did this. Tails is not having it. I thought Sonic could handle anything, but somehow he's met his match. I'm going to help you get to the bottom of this, Tails. Absolutely. Me too. Same. We're going to figure out exactly what happened in this room and punish the one responsible. So Sonic? He really was hurt this whole time, and I did nothing. I'm writing my wrong. I must take down the murderer. Tails, Oblivion, I have a big question to ask. Who in this room did this? Who killed Sonic the Hedgehog? Bro, it was Espio. It had to have been. Espio, you were the one to murder Sonic, weren't you? Mm. Aha. I did no such thing, my young friend. But if it's a battle of which you wish, I would love to discuss things. Let's discuss. What the? You're accusing Espio? We already talked about this, the man that was reading. You have nothing. Restating Espio's alibi would be helpful for everyone, I think. Espio was locked in the library card reading. He only had access to the saloon card during the murder. However, new evidence has come to light that needs to be addressed. New evidence? Oh, that's right. Oblivion, could you fill everyone in? What did we find that brings into question Espio's alibi? Espio could have left the library card at any time because Tails and I found a hidden passage from the library card to the lounge card. In the lounge card, the hidden passage exits behind the wardrobe. I feel lucky we even found it. Not only would Espio avoid any locked doors, but that would have put him in the car just before this one. You have no evidence I used any secret passage. I answered all your questions without flaw. I was reading the entire time, remember? It's true, you didn't miss a question, but I think Oblivion and I could explain that too. Oblivion? How did Espio know everything in the train manual he was reading? A ninja like him speed reads. Espio is a ninja. He's fluent in 17 different languages and remarkably disciplined. What are you getting at? You picked a random book from the shelf and memorized it just to guarantee yourself a clean alibi. What? That That's absurd. Memorizing a whole book. I know this is a talented bunch, but that seems like a lot. I don't know. It is plausible. Espio is particularly skilled. I've known Espio a long time. You once sped read a book I was reading just to spoil the ending for me. <laughs> 
If I'm right and Espio quickly memorized the book before entering the hidden passage, then Espio could have met Sonic in the conductor's car, where he was murdered. Since we're only talking in what ifs, let me throw something at you. How was I to know about the hidden passage? It's hidden. That's right! How would Espio have even known it was there? You said it with yourself, kid. You were lucky to even find the passage. Oblivion and I might not have the evidence to answer your question, but we know someone who does. Oblivion? Who here has the evidence to prove Espio knew about the hidden passage? Shadow? Or Espio? Does, does, does Vector know deep down? They told us we could see something later, and now it's not. Oh, that was Rouge. Rouge, we need to see those blueprints. Blueprints? You stole blueprints? Whatever. I already used it to scout for more treasures. Came up cold. You can have it. Blueprints are added to your inventory. This right here is a blueprint you... This right here is a blueprint to the entire train. SBO could have easily used this to find the hidden passage. What makes you think I ever saw those blueprints? Rouge had him. Well, Oblivion, do you have an answer for him? How could SBO have seen those blueprints? SBO swiped them from the conductor. There's a code included with these blueprints. I thought it was odd. That code is classified information. Could these blueprints have belonged to the conductor? That makes a lot of sense, actually. I remember the conductor pulling the blueprints out to show me something during my interview. Espio could have swiped the blueprints, found out about the passage, and then stuffed them somewhere. Come to think of it, I did discover the blueprints in the library car. No way. In my theory, Espio looked at the blueprints and then used the hidden passage to get to Sonic. But in Amy's guidelines, the murderer can't kill a single participant however they choose. The logistics are still very vague, but Oblivion and I have evidence how Sonic was murdered. I'm unsure how much harm Espio could cause Sonic, but Oblivion and I have evidence on how it was done. Uh, oh, this is rich. Pray tell. If I murdered Sonic, if if I murdered Sonic, how did I do it? With a dart, a blow dart. Okay, now form my argument. Come on, focus. You're close, Oblivion. What would Sonic do? Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Give me these rings. Oh! 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 It's okay, let me try it again. Oh, shit. <laughs> I, thought, I thought I fucked up. I thought it was over. Why did that bridge just break like that? That's not fair. I know. Oh, I see the fucking... Okay, I see the... The brakes and the fucking... The platform. I, I didn't expect that though, the first time. This blow dart was found here, in the conductor's room. I believe Espio's used this to knock Sonic um, unconscious. Ah, so you must mean Sonic might just be knocked out? I'm unsure, he's more veined up than that. What a blow dart would do. According to Amy's rules, a blow dart counts as a kill for the murder of mystery. My theory, therefore, is plausible. Plausible, you say? Then why are you th then why are there so many holes in it? You deny the allegations? Of course I do. Let me present the first fatal flaw. If I knocked out Sonic in the conductor's car, then how was Sonic found in the dining car? Ah, shoot, that's a good point. Tails was onto something, I'm sure of it. I locked all the doors, and Espio didn't have a key. He would have had to take the hidden passage back. If he found the hidden passage back, he'd end up back in the library. Oblivion and I know their way it could have been done. Do we do? What piece of evidence do we have to take a closer look at that? Arm? 
I don't think the right direction. What if it shows another Rabbit Speed I could have used to move Sonic? Oh, I guess the fucking... Alright, now what's my argument? We're getting closer. Think Oblivion, think. Oh! Oh! There's a lot happening. Holy shit. Alright, bet. Yes, sir. Alright, let's take a look. If Espio didn't take the secret passage to get to the dining car, then what route did he take to get Sonic there? Mm -hmm. There's there's a path above the conductor's car, and it goes all the way to the dining car. Huh? huh? I didn't even see that area. Is that some sort of long attic? According to these blueprints, there's a hidden path in the ceiling that leads straight to the dining car. Perhaps you can access it. Do the vent over there? Mm -hmm. The vent, of course. That must be the entrance to the path. Allow me to check it out. My word. There is a path back here, and a track. A track? Huh? A track for the robot arms, I think. This must be the path the arms take to move throughout the train. So you're saying I somehow fit with Sonic in the vent and took him to the dining car? Tails, you're a smart kid, so I know you realize you both couldn't fit up there. This feels right. This is, a feel this is feeling flimsy, Tails. I need an answer. My name's getting dragged around here. How on earth would I get Sonic through that vent? Phew, now I now to think about my argument. If you can do this, Oblivion, you can do this. Think. Alright, what's going on here? Let's go. Let's go. Boom, 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 I don't know, but I need to get these rings. I didn't have enough! No! Oh no, I gotta try this again. Okay, I'm chilling. I'm chilling. Let's go. Give me the light bulb. Everyone saw the broken robot arm on the ground, right? Clearly, a fight broke out here, and one of those robot arms was a casualty. But what if one of the robot arms actually caught Sonic? Knuckles said there's a track the robot arms use that continues to the vent. A robot arm could have grabbed Sonic passed out from a blow dart and carried him to the dining car. C could that be true? Take a look at Sonic. He's clearly banged up. Could the fight have been between Sonic and the robot arm? Uh -huh. I can see that. Those arms do look powerful. Sonic doesn't fall easily, but if he's woozy from a blow dart, the arms could have gotten him. Interesting theory, Tails. But you'd have to admit, these are a lot of coincidences. I might not be able to link everything directly to Espio yet, but I have found one inconsistency. What kind of inconsistency? Someone here received false information, and I believe that information comes from Espio. Who received that information? Amy. Amy, you received the hot scoop, did you not? I think it's time you told us where that scoop came from. <laughs> Tails, you're, you're right. Espio lied to me. Espio told me Shadow was locking doors to trap Sonic. But we found out Shadow was trying to keep me from discovering my birthday surprise. That scoop came from you, Espio? Uh, no, of course not. Amy must have misheard me. Misheard you? Yes, I said, uh, Sonic's going to get trapped with all these locked doors. I was just looking out for my fellow passenger's safety. I didn't blame Shadow. I don't know, Espio. What? 
The evidence might not be airtight, but there's a lot being thrown at you that makes sense. I have to agree. You want us to believe you were lazily reading the whole time? While you were stationed in the room with a hidden passage? Ugh. And now you're lying to me? On my birthday, on, of all days? I believe the murderer used the train's controls to move Sonic from the conductor's car to the dining car. And lied to Amy, costing further blame on Shadow, for no other reason than to cause doubt and confusion. When examining everyone's alibis, one clearly stands out as the weakest. I believe it's clear to everyone that it could only have been one person. It was you, SBO. You were the one who murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. Well, hey guys, Sonic, you're okay. Sonic, and we just solved the mystery. Espio was the murderer. Right. Espio jumped me in the conductor's car. Damn, Espio, what's going on? Espio jumped me in the conductor's car. Dang it, you've got me. A blow dart, though, really? It's non-lethal poison, you'll just be sleepy for a while. Great, I could use a nap. No, wait, there's something important. Espio left me there. I need everyone to listen. The train's a bad nick. Sonic, are you feeling alright? Do you need to lie back down? No, no, we all need to get off this train. We're not safe. What? When I arrived at the conductor's car, the conductor was already here. He was so excited to tell me all about the features of the train. But what was he telling me? I had a bad feeling. I asked to see the power source. The conductor hasn't even seen it. When we looked at it, we realized the train's powered by a flicky. A flicky? The tiny animal? There's only one person twisted enough to use a flicky as a power source. Dr. Eggman. And that explains the, the casino room with the Eggman chips on it. And the books in the library. I told the conductor the train needed to be destroyed. He refused. The way the conductor was describing it, it's more than a simple badnik. It's the conductor's friend. The train is his co-conductor. You're not serious. They uh, certainly didn't tell me that in the interview. Right as we tell the flicky, I felt a sting in my shoulder. It was the blow dart from SBO. Ugh. SBO left. The lights in the room started to glow red. Mm -hmm. Hey, stop what you are doing. I knew something was wrong and stood up. The arms came for me next. I spin dashed right through the robot arm, sliced it off the rail it was on. Wow, I'm amazed he was able to do any of this poisoned. But another robot arm managed to grab me and pin me to the floor. Ah! The conductor screamed as the arms approached him, but it was quite. It was, I. Ooh, I was hit quite a bit before it all got to me. Oh no. Everyone, I have something to admit. I murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, we already know that. The situation has gotten so serious. Why would you not tell us? I thought that's how these murder games worked. You shoot someone with a blow dart, they'll die. Are you crazy? It's just a make believe game. No one should get hit with a blow dart. I was just following the rules. See? What is that? It says, uses blow dart on Sonic. Station in the conductor car. It is late to the non-lethal sleeping dart. Thank you again for choosing the Mirage Express staff. What is this? Instructions? I was given the blow dart along with that card. It's signed staff. Who gave this to you? Come to think of it, one of the robotic arms handed it to me. Hmm. Weapons shouldn't be allowed on the train. What is the larger picture here? Who instructed those arms to attack? Who or what? Oblivion, who do you think attacked Sonic and handed Espio the blow dart? Uh, fucking the train. I believe something's been orchestrating things behind the scenes. Something wanted Sonic out of the picture and for a good while, so I think the train itself is plotting something. Hmm. First we learned the train's a bad nick and now it's out to get us? Once again, you keep saying the most ridiculous nonsense. You're seriously convinced the train has its out to get us? I don't know what the train's full of tet is, but clearly it's been tampering in our murder mystery game. Train! Come out and show yourself! Hey, Amy! 
It's my birthday and I don't need you messing with it. Amy's hitting the wall with her hammer. I'm with you, Amy. This train can have it. Come on, there's got to be another way to get the train. I thought this was a vector. Come on, there's got to be another way to get the train's attention. What was that? Hey, yo, this is going rogue. Little, little eyes. What did you two do? Is that the conductor? Mm -hmm. Here, I can get him down. Don't touch him. Mm -hmm. Is the train talking? Of course I can talk, you fools. We're too distracted playing your little game to figure it out. We were right, weren't we? What are you plotting? I'm talking all... Oh, I'm taking all of you to Eggman's base. Where you will rot. Eggman? After I deliver you an, your annoying party right to his egg fortress. Annoying? The conductor and I will be free to laugh and play games, ride the open rails like we always planned. What are you... Enough! The train's picking up speed. Everyone grab onto something. Mm. Which one of these buttons turns the train off? Whoa! Sonic! <laughs> Stay put until we arrive. Goodbye. Ah! Whoa! No, no! I can't keep my footing! Ah! Damn! That was a loud ass thud. Oh, we got put to sleep. We're back in the dining. Fucking. Oh, a bunch of evidence is falling out of my pocket. Uh, uh, my head. Tails? Amy? Uh, is anyone here? Hello? Uh, hello? No need to yell, bud. It's a Sonic. I'm so sorry. Uh, are you okay? Hanging in there, it seems the train's arms threw us back into the dining car. But where's everyone else? A great question, but for now, are you alright? Sonic the Hedgehog, asking about me? Oh, shit, I'm doing amazing. Wow, amazing, huh? You might have to share a bit of that enthusiasm with me. I, uh, might have overcompensated there. Let's get our bearings and take a look around. Good idea. Lead the way. Alright. Well, there's a fucking robot arm. That's not good. Hey, one of those robotic arms are here, too. Yow, swiped at me. Best to leave it alone. The train's definitely mad at us. Good call. We've got to get out of here before that arm swipes at us again. That yellow glow is chilling. I miss when it was just showing us the weather. Huh? Well, that's better than the yellow glow, I guess. Oh, hello, hello. Anyone there? Why is no one responding to me? I missed the yellow glow already. Got some nerve showing up your egghead. Ho oh, ho, you spiky blue pest. Seems you've finally taken passage on one of my passenger trains. Who the heck are you? Don't talk to me. <laughs> Yo! Ah, uh, ignoring that. They certainly didn't talk about you in my interview. My involvement isn't well known, civilian. The infrastructure is your town's. It just wasn't cutting it. If I were to build Eggman Land, these problems would need sorting out. So, I courageously got involved. I converted some cargo trains into passenger trains for the sake of the public, and just more useful for future schemes. Let me guess, another Death Egg Doctor predictable? The people behind the... Oh my god. The people fear giant spheres. It's science. Let's cut to the chase. Where are our friends? Judging by my security cameras, your pathetic friends are all locked in the cars they were stationed in. Seems you managed to make the train quite upset. Did you not know this was happening? Heavens no, I'm only now getting caught up. I'm far too busy to notice what a passenger train is up to. You see, the capability of a badnik is normally very basic. Just kill Sonic the Hedgehog. But for a luxury train, I wanted to be sure things ran without my supervision. And report to me if any of you happened to bore. Off the board? I don't know what you said. This train's capability of intellectual thought is extraordinary. A feat only accomplished by my genius. So this confirms it. The train really is sentient. Suffice to say, your capture is inevitable. You're on a train that desires nothing more than to deliver you all to me. See, I got to thinking. I need to manufacture motivation beyond programming. I like to make my badniks complete, compete against one another from time to time. It's good for productivity. So I ins inst inst instituated. 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 
a bounty upon my army of badniks. First to capture your pathetic creatures gets a generous reward. Uh, the train wants to deliver us to Eggman for a reward. Most of my robots ask for something simple, like my autograph or whatever, but a highly intelligent train it may ask for something more interesting. As much as I like reward programs, are you done blabbering, Doc? You can never just win silently, can you? Hey, what's up, well, Antoine? Welcome to the welcome to the stream. We're playing Sonic Among Us right now. You can never just win silently, can you? When you're dragged to your to my base, you will regret the day you ever crossed me, Hedgehog. I already do get lost. <laughs> Ciao. He always knows how to get under my skin. This is tough. The train has motivation and being made by Eggman is no doubt powerful. Not to mention, we're all separated. What am I supposed to think? The train purposely had Sonic knocked out so it could deliver us to Eggman? This whole time we were all in danger and I went along with it? Hmm. Sonic was really hurt. The conductor's been captured. Should I have been more assertive earlier? I should have done more. Hmm. Am I at fault here? I knew Sonic was hurt all along. Alright, sorry for that. I'm back. Sorry for that. Alright. Hey. I can tell the situation getting to you. Oh, yeah, sorry. I I get it. The road's getting tough. It's easy to question the decisions that got you here. But when negative thoughts hit you, let it pass and keep living. I need you here helping me think through this before I do something rash. See, I'm one of those leap before you think kind of guys. Haha, <laughs> okay, you're right. Let's keep moving forward and make things right. Breathe. Okay. We gotta get to the conductor's car before the train arrives at Eggman's base. The doors have been heavily fortified. Let him get through. What would you do? The entire day, Tails and I have been asking ourselves, what would Sonic do? So what would you do? What would I do? Well, I'd speed through head on and rescue our friends by any means necessary. Here, stand back. Oh, shit, he actually broke through that shit. Okay. Wow, with one big wind-up, Sonic Spin Dash was fast enough to get through open. Hey, now that the road's clear, nothing can stop us. Better hold on to your pants, I don't think we'll be getting another break after this. Ready to go? Let's do it. That's the spirit, let's go find our friends. To the conductor's car to end this mystery. Oh shit. Alright, our friends are locked in the cars up ahead. In my last adventure, maxing out my ring count gave me an extra boost of speed. If I can grab enough rings, I should be fast enough to bust through the next door too. Ready? Let's do this. Oh shit. We actually playing right now. Oh fuck. This is really cool. The pixel art's like really nice. Alright, 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 alright. Oh! Alright, so we broke the next, uh, the next room. Just wait till I see Eggman. I'm gonna clobber him. We gotta deal with the train first. Come on, let's go. Hmm. Alright, so now we're going to the casino one. Oh, no, we're going to the library. That's right. Oh, my God. No! Oh my god, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna get enough rings. Oh my god, just barely. Holy shit. Let's do it. Let's go. You all came for us. Of course, but let's move. The train wants to make us prisoner under reward. 
My reward is to get off the stupid train. Let's go. And right, now we're going to the casino. Oh my god. Yes, sir. Oh my god. Alright. Let's run that back. Let's run that back. Let's right, run that back one more time. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Alright, well, we did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. Boom. Sonic! It's about time. I thought you were supposed to be fast, Sonic. We gotta move. You two ready? Always. Let's boogie. Shadow's room. Man, you're telling me Shadow couldn't have, bro have broken out of his room? Oh, shit! That was pretty good. Locked Amy and Tails in the conductor's car. Say no more. Let's go. No. Oh my god. I mi no way I missed the ring box. Oh, I'm getting oh I'm getting fucked. I did not do this. Oh my god! Wow, I'm fucking trash. Okay. 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 That was, that was good. Sonic! Sonic, you're here! Hey, there's no way to treat the big birthday girl. You're right, I'm ready to stop this train. It's time to finish this. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Excellent work trapping these pests. Now hurry to me. I must probably dispose of them to begin my plans for Eggman Land and probably another Death Egg. Don't teleport us to the future. Teleport you off? Oh, to the future, when I've already ruled the planet. Sure, I'll do that. Whatever. Shut it, Eggman. Don't disappoint me, Train. Hurry up. I will not fail. My wish will be granted. Your wish? Oh, you mean the bounty. I don't care what you call it. Just bring me those overgrown mammals. Grr, that Eggman. Mm, I must get my wish. I will not fail. This is it, everyone. Get ready. We're taking this thing down. Oh, sorry about that. Oh, shit. We're getting out of business. Okay, well, this is uh, pretty easy. What's this game about? So, basically, Bo Antoine, uh, this is a little game they dropped on April Fool's. They announced the day before that they were taking Sonic to another direction, and they dropped this surprisingly. And it's just a little murder mystery. I believe it's kind of like uh, that that one game, Dang Gun Ropa or whatever the fuck it's called. It's basically a little like little you know little side thing they did, just a little murder mystery of who killed Sonic. It was a little you know thing they did in the game. It's yeah. We promised to be together our whole lives. How could he just leave us like it was nothing? Who do you mean, the conductor? He's retiring, you just have to accept that. My wish will keep us together forever. That's what being friends is all about. You can't force someone to be friends with you. That's that's messed up. Shut up, just shut up. 
Oh shit, alright, well we uh get back into it. Give me that. Yeah, yeah. This is already a better final boss than like Sonic Frontiers, and this is a side game. Holy shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Eggman, Eggman, can you hear me? My wish, my wish, my wish! Make the conductor never leave me! Let us be best friends forever! The kind of friends who will never leave each other. Why would he betray me? Alright, so... Eggman's just playing the robot, basically. Gimme that, yummy. Yummy! Alrighty. Right, these, these are pretty easy, actually. These are easier than some of the other levels we did earlier. Bap, bap, bap. Conductor! You promised me. You promised me. Let him speak. Unhand him. Train, stop this. When I told you we'd be with each other forever, I was a much younger man. I'm getting old. I'm tired. Excuses. How dare you abandon me? I'll be lonely. So lonely. Why must you insist loneliness upon me? No, stop. What are you doing to me? Please don't make me do this. A, we have to rescue the conductor if we ever want to stop this train. Alright. Let's do it. Oh, we find the train, bro. We find the train. Oh, this shit's about to be... Oh, shit. Okay. 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 This oh, shit hurts my eyes, bro. Oh, easy. Easy. Don't my only attack that shit. Oh, we gotta do it again. The flicky. Damn, bro. That flicky is running. A uh, flicky? This is just like the lore card when my ex-best friend left Detective Work to join Dr. Eggman. So this really is a bad nick. The stakes rise every second, huh? We gotta save him. On it. Let's show our full power. Okay, so it's gonna be a comp- Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's gonna be a combination. Oh sh- Oh my god, it's over. Oh my god, do I have enough rings? Yo, there's too much happening! Oh my god, I got enough rings. Easy. Just, just be delivered to Eggman already. What about, what about my happiness? Your happiness comes at the expense of others. Last I checked, that's called being selfish. Me? Selfish? Ow, how dare you? Damn, we need a hundred rings? Okay. I fucking didn't even... Okay, okay. Let's run that back. Let's run that back. I didn't even try jumping. I just walked off. my goodness. Dude, there's so much on my screen right now. Oh, I got it. I got the rings. I just can't get hit now. Yes, sir. Get his ass. No, no, no. No! Oh! I'll grab the flicky. Huh? Yes, sir. It's over. Time to pay for re my birthday. Toma! The art in this game is so good. Train is slowing down. Great, Amy. 
Great hits, Amy. <laughs> it was pretty great, wasn't it? That's what you get when you mess with my special day. I... I just couldn't bear to see you go. I'm sorry for the trouble. R.I.P. I think our work here is done. Now let's get off this thing. Thank you. Goodbye, my friend. I may be leaving the rail, but I assure you, I'll never forget our time together. Well, that's a pretty bittersweet ending. We did it! Well, I'll say I've never been on a train like that before. This universe has a unique way of doing things. Watch your step, watch your step. It's over. The mystery of Sonic the Hedgehog's murder is officially over. Maybe next birthday party we just ask Vanilla to make dinner. Oh, you don't love parties where the by the end someone tries to kill you? I think I'm actually going to miss this group's unhinged way of thinking. Honey, you're late. I've been waiting here for hours. Faha, -ha. you'd honestly never believe what happened. So I won't even try. Faha, faha. I'm just glad you're here. Quick, you leave for Spagoni in the morning and you need to pack. I'll pack faster than the wind. I need this vacation something. I need this vacation something terrible. And I need you home. Happy first day of retirement, dear. Seems the conductor is more than ready to begin his retirement after this ordeal. I'm happy for them both. Oh, who's this? Faha, an old friend, I think. Well, they're cute, that's for sure. Cheap, cheap, cheap. Seems that Flicky found a friend. Great job saving that little guy, SPO. It was the least I could do. Sonic, everyone, I sincerely apologize for the trouble I caused. Don't be. You were just following what you thought was the game. It's hard to know what I would have done in that such same situation. I wouldn't have hit somebody with a blow dart. Seriously, a dart? It would have been hard to get close to you otherwise, Mr. Speed of Sound. Regardless, I am sorry. We're cool, and now that the we're all safe and sound, it was fun. This group has a wild idea of fun. Boy, I am starving. I forgot we never ate. With all the clatter, I completely forgot I was hungry. Me too. I was distracted playing detective. If only you could have seen me, Sonic. I was finding clues, presenting evidence, poking holes in alibis. Sonic? Wait, where did he go? Everyone guess what? The station has a bakery, and look what I bought. Ah, a birthday cake. No way they got that shit customized that quickly, bro. There's no way. Happy birthday, Amy. To the confident, unshakable, and radiant Amy Rose. To an adventure of a birthday, darling. A memorable party every year. To a fun birthday. A ride from start to finish. May our friendship grow stronger each celebration. I admire your tenacity. May you never lose your vivacity. Vivacity. Happy birthday to Amy and her sparkling personality. Per persa oh no, you said pernacity. Happy birthday. I'm not smart enough to know if, it's per if pernacity is a word. We love you, Amy. Happy birthday. Ah, ah, you guys. We almost got murdered by a lovely train, but a lonely train, but. I wouldn't trade these adventures for anything, never in a million years. You guys won't ever leave me, right? You wouldn't dream of it. Now let's have some cake. Yes, please, dig in, everyone. Yay! I hope it's chocolate. Alright, well, that was a... That was a, little, that was a ride. 